Hello, hope you're all well. My name is Frank and welcome back to my channel. It is a pleasure to have you here with me today and I'm giving you guys a quick meal update. If you have no idea where that intro is from, uh, there's this uh, Russian vegan girl, Victoria Ciro, and that's her intro for her videos. Very, very funny, very funny. Uh, so we're gonna just go over each of these components uh, real quick before I jump in, just explain to you guys why I'm eating them. So we have a lean organic sirloin steak from Frankie's Free Range Meat, and uh, this actually comes in three sizes that we have available. One of them's organic, but it's all pretty much the same stuff. 100% grass-fed on the leaner side. B vitamins, protein, cholesterol, choline, basically every single nutrient that's in the protein component of the meat, as this is low in fat. For the bulk of our meal, uh, the starches, it, we have some durum wheat pasta from Italy that I boiled in Gerolsteiner mineral water. So this has a high calcium content, which is important because um, a little deficient in calcium, and I'm trying to increase that naturally. Just put a little bit of coconut oil and salt on this, and if you get this al dente, it's really, really delicious, even with nothing on it. We have some bread alone, sourdough bread, that I just uh, baked in the oven for a bit with uh, a little bit of coconut oil on it. These are way too hard. It's gonna be really hard to chew, but um, this is just more calories, really. Just try to get some more food in so I don't lose so much weight. We have our water kefir, of course. We have this available on Frankie's Free Range Foods. I did just make the ginger lemon lime kefir today for you guys. So that's gonna be really, really delicious. If you wanna try that out, we have that available now. But if you don't like drinking water kefir, what I've been doing for some of these meals where I forgot to bring some home was I take a teaspoon of the kefir grains and I have that with my meal. And if I drink water kefir and have the grains, my digestion is even better. And of course we have our master gum, which I've been taking with uh, every meal, maybe a teaspoon or two basically for, uh, oh man, almost two years now. I don't think I ever told you guys how long I've been taking this stuff, uh, but it's really been helping my digestion, combat H. pylori. And we have a little bit of a secret for dessert that you guys are gonna have to stick around to see. Uh, but for now, I'm just gonna chow down. I haven't eaten today uh, and it's already 7 p.m. I gotta wake up really early tomorrow morning to uh, drive upstate again. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just have this big meal, try to get to bed by 8 p.m., wake up at five. My bread is so crunchy, pieces flew into my water kefir. So with the kefir grains, I just take about a teaspoon, put it in my mouth, and swallow it down. So it's basically like its own culture. Now when you're drinking the water kefir, it's a lot of bacteria in the liquid that helps digest the food. This is more of like a slow fermentation that stays in your digestive system throughout. And depending on how my digestion is, I'll have mastic gum once or twice. So maybe like a teaspoon worth in my hand. Swallow that down somewhat towards the beginning of the meal. And today we'll probably have a little bit more towards the end of the meal, just so it's evenly distributed throughout the food in my stomach. So these bottles of water kefir are about 33 ounces. So I usually drink a little less than one of these every meal, like usually down to about here. Uh, this meal I might drink more just because it's the only time I'm eating today. I went to Whole Foods earlier, but I forgot to buy some barley. I think we're gonna go back to making the venison stew because look, this is not a crazy amount of cooking, but it's like at least an hour of work every day. So if I make that venison stew, I only have to cook like once every three days, which is really, really nice. Uh, so we ate most of the steak, maybe 70% of the pasta and just about all of the bread. And this should actually be enough meat and pasta for like a second small meal if I make some more bread. So I might just do that uh, when I wake up tomorrow morning. But let's get this out of the way for now. So I was looking at the baby foods when I was at the supermarket, just out of curiosity. And uh, I tried some pear as well as banana baby food. And I like the banana a lot. And yeah, it's not the best. They put citric acid and ascorbic acid in here to preserve the color. And I would absolutely never feed this to a baby. You know, this shouldn't be called baby food because the only food babies should be eating are breast milk. 
and then two, three, four years of age, you can start incorporating high quality animal foods into their diet. Fruits, vegetables, starches are not what humans need to develop. They need protein, they need fat, they need cholesterol. That being said, as an adult, baby food is basically like a clean carbohydrate uh, to some degree. And after I was having this banana baby food that I liked a lot, I, I sauteed some bananas and some uh, coconut oil in a pan last night and mashed it up. Uh, well, I didn't intentionally mash it up, but if you saute bananas for a little while, they basically turn into mush. And this is really, really good. And I caramelize it nicely, but I like the baby food too because although the flavor on the baby food isn't as good, oh, this one actually tastes a bit off. The flavor on the baby food is definitely not as good. The texture is just so smooth. I just like the texture a lot. And the flavor on this is better, but I'd have to like puree this in a blender and then pass it through a sieve, which is a bit of work, but I think I'm going to do that. Um, this was just a quick fix uh, because I didn't feel like spending an hour making my own banana puree. So one of these is like 90 calories. Isn't this something like that old school bodybuilders used to do? Eat baby food. So that alcoholic water kefir is kicking in and I'm feeling a little loopy, which is good. I'm get to have fun for an hour or two before I go to bed. In the meantime, I'll take some more masticum. Uh, this time I'm just gonna try to chew it a little bit to try to crush it up before I swallow it down. That's really it guys. Uh, let me know how you like this. Maybe I'll do a video next week explaining the uh, dopamine and uh, pornography part of the No No November. I have to do some research on it. In the meantime, if you guys wanna go to frankdestefon.com, uh, you can check out all my businesses and get some of these products if you'd like to try them out. We have the Masticum available on organsupplements.com as well as a bunch of very interesting products, mineral supplements that I take every day. And uh, maybe I'll do a, I'll talk more next week in my day of eating about other things I've changed. I've been taking magnesium. I've been doing lemon juice in the morning for vitamin C. I just tried that, so we'll see how that goes for another week. We got the kefir grains as well as water kefir available on frankiesrangefoods.com. And guys, honestly, if you do anything out of my suggestions, this stuff literally makes you feel happy when you drink it because the probiotics in your stomach, the happy gut bacteria equals a happy brain. I can't emphasize that enough. I've had so many people email me about how much water kefir has helped them and it's been by far, I've said this many times, the most significant impact in how I feel and, and my digestion getting better. Sorlin steak is available on frankiesforangemeat.com. Hopefully we get the jerky up and running soon. I don't wanna to talk too much more today because uh, my thoughts aren't collected but maybe we will have the baby food or some type of baby food in the future uh, as soon as I have my own facility where I can have a kitchen and just do stuff like this. Make meat-based baby food, banana-based baby food, basically do everything I want to do. I've, I've been pretty good so far. And we have a full meat selection on Frankie's Strange Meat, full supplement selection on organ supplements. I got Flextrose, I got Wi-Fi shilling. I don't see why I can't just buy a bunch of fruits and vegetables and make some very high quality baby food. Not for babies though. But thanks again for joining me guys. frank check out all my businesses. Drop a like on the video. Leave me a comment, any questions down below. Subscribe so that YouTube can unsubscribe you next week. And check that notification bell so they don't notify you of my videos. As I've said a few times, frank to support me further guys. I'll see you for tomorrow.